This video will be in two parts. The first part showing the hard way to answer this question, the second part showing the easy way. The second part is the more important one. Now, this question appeared in the 2017 engineering science paper. We have a known force and two unknown forces and members. So the first stage would be to draw a free body diagram. So there's my free body diagram. Okay, I've changed that angle to 31 degrees, so it's to the horizontal. So from there, I can work out my forces. I've assumed M1 and M2 are in tension. So I start off, now we sum the forces in the vertical, equals zero. So I get 1030 sine 31, minus M1 sine 21, minus M2 sine 45. Okay, start pressing the calculator, so that's 530.358.707. I've taken the M1 across the other side, and then the M1 I've divided by the 0.358.358, press the calculator again. So I've got what I've called equation A, M1 equals minus M2 times 1.97 plus 1480. Okay, so that's my equation A. Now, I've done the sum of the forces on the horizontal, equals zero. So we have 1030 cos 31 has gone there, minus M1 cos 21, minus M2 cos 45. Right. Press the calculator and get the numbers. Uh, now in this line, I've got M1 and I've got M2. So I take equation A, this part here, and I drop it in. Okay, so I've got 0.934 times minus M2 times 1.97 times 1480. Next stage, I've burst that bracket. Okay. So there's, and then I've taken away the, the M2. Okay, so I've put my M2 terms together to do it. Just the arithmetic. And I wind up M2 is 440 newtons. It's a tie. I take that number, I drop it into this equation minus 440 times 1.97 to do it. So I wind up and I rearrange that, I get M1 equals 612 newtons and it's a tie. Now I have done that very quickly in this video, but it took me a long time to do that. That's method one. Method one will take, I don't know, 15 minutes before you get it and you're happy with it being right. I'm now gonna show you how to do method two. Okay, here's back to the original questions diagram. Now, M1 and M2, they have horizontal and vertical components. What we can do, instead of leaving it like that, in our heads, we can rotate it. So M2 becomes vertical, okay, and M1 is horizontal. Then, when we do that, well, if we do the sum of force on the horizontal, there's only an M1 has a component, so we get a numeric answer. Here is, here's my diagram with the M2 as vertical. So you have to recalculate the angles. So the 103 is now making 76 degrees to the horizontal. M1 is 66 degrees below. And M2 is now just vertical. So maybe I should score out that 45. The M2 is just vertical. So if I do, the sum of force horizontally equals zero. I have the horizontal component of 103 O, 103 O cost 76, minus the horizontal component of M1, which is M minus M1 cost 66. Rearranging that, I get M1 is 612 newtons, and it's a tie. Do sum the force in the vertical. So I've got 103 O sine 76 minus M2. Now, M2, of course, is in the vertical, so there's no sine or cosine stuck on the end of it. Minus M1 sine 66, the vertical component of M1. Of course, by now, we know what M1 is, so I drop the value in. So I get 994 minus M2 minus 612 sine 66. Rearranging that, did it, and we've got 440 newtons. It's positive, so again, it's a tie. Okay, so the second method, to summarise it, you twist it round so one of the forces 
is in either the horizontal or the vertical direction. Here, we put M2 into the vertical direction. We could have equally put it into a horizontal direction, and then we would have found it. So twist around, get your angles, your new angles to the horizontal and vertical, well, and then away you go. Okay? Method two is the way to do it. it takes no time at all.